We are thrilled to welcome our next guest back to the show. George Takei rose to fame as Mr. Sulu in the original Star Trek series and then on the big screen. Since then, he's become a social media star, advocate for LGBTQ rights, and best-selling author. His latest work is a children's book that shares an important history lesson. My Lost Freedom takes place during World War II, when George was just five years old. He and his family were detained and then imprisoned by the U.S. government, along with 125,000 other Japanese Americans. George, mm. welcome and good morning. Good, morning. good to be here. Good morning. Hey, great having you here. Yeah. You know, you've touched on this subject, dealt with this subject before in, in a previous graphic novel for young adults. Uh, and now you've decided to take it down to, to like elementary school, very young children. Mm. What, what was the decision for that? Well, I tell the story from the vantage point of when I was a child. Mm. I was five years old on that horrible morning that I still can't forget. Mm. Two soldiers, um, my brother Henry and I, were standing by, by the front window just gazing out at the neighborhood. Mm. And suddenly we saw two soldiers marching up our driveway. They carried rifles with shiny bayonets on them. Mm. They stomped up the porch and with their fists began banging on the door. Henry, my, my brother's name is Henry. Henry and I were petrified standing there. And then my father came out of their bedroom. My, my parents were packing. He came out, answered the door, and one of the two soldiers pointed his bayonet at our oh. father. We sure. were frozen. Sure. Yeah. And uh, my father said, I need 10, ten minutes more. And he, uh, he, they gave it to us. Oh. And uh, he went back and came back out with two boxes about this size, mm -hmm. uh, for one for Henry to carry and one for me to carry. And he went back carrying two heavy suitcases. Mm -hmm. And uh, he told us to follow him. So we followed him out onto the driveway, stood there waiting for our mother to come out. And when she came out, escorted by the other, the, the one with the bayonet that he, they, he pointed at, mm -hmm. our father, my mother came out. She had our baby sister oh. in one arm, mm. a heavy duffel bag in the other, and tears were streaming down her cheeks. Mm. That is seared into my memory. Mm. And it's still vivid there. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to tell this story for children mm -hmm. from my vantage point then but also to cover two generations, Daddy and Mommy mm -hmm. reading to little Johnny and little Janie. Mm -hmm. And so the children are hearing about this chapter of American history mm -hmm. for the first time. And I hope I reach the Daddy and Mommy generation, mm -hmm. this curiosity, because the lesson to be learned from that chapter of American history is very relevant mm -hmm. to our times. It's Absolutely. In fact, in the book's intro, you talk about Star Trek as a metaphor for Earth and its diversity and the power of diversity. What did you mean by that? Well, Gene Roddenberry, who created Star Trek, uh, was a philosopher as well as a futurist. The 60s was a turbulent time here. Mm -hmm. The civil rights movement, uh, the peace movement uh, during the Vietnam War, and lots of drama that he couldn't dramatize on television mm -hmm. but he said i have the, the uh, trick mm. put it in the future mm -hmm. and speak metaphorically mm. the starship enterprise is a metaphor for starship earth mm. and the strength of the starship is in its diversity mm -hmm. coming together and working in concert as a team that's our strength mm -hmm. but unless that diversity comes together and sharing various vantage points, histories, uh, faiths, mm -hmm. uh, languages. It's all important. That's all important. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if that working together can't, doesn't happen, horrible things can happen, mm -hmm. as it did to us during the Second World War, because we're Americans mm -hmm. that look like the people that bombed Pearl Harbor, and the same kind of hysteria that we see today yeah. When I, my poor parents, they couldn't walk down the sidewalk without be, being yelled at, spat at, mm. called spies, uh, 
sa uh, saboteurs. Mm -hmm. we, and we had seen, nothing seen, to do with Pearl Harbor. We've seen that being repeated again today. Uh, but the, the, the great thing about this is your book celebrates, you know, resilience, mm -hmm. which is terrific. So you've got that happening this week. And then another uh, thing about resilience and living long and prospering, uh, you've got a birthday. You do. Coming yeah. up Thank on, you. on, on you. the 20th. Yes. On April 20th. April 20th. What's Happy. the secret? Well, to live long, you got to live fully and properly. Mm -hmm. My secret potion is uh, hot green tea. Oh. Oh. Lots of antioxidants. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have the first libation I drink in the morning mm -hmm. is hot green tea. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting that into my routine. My hubby yeah. brings it to me right there on the nightstand. And the rest of the day, it's all hot green tea. All right. And, uh, and That's my addiction. It. All right. All right. There, there you go. Well, as a wise man once said, oh, my. <laughs> oh, my, indeed. <laughs> George, thank you thank so you, George. much. Thank you. Uh, thank the you. book, My Lost Freedom, is available right now. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.